You're driving around in your mom's vehicle? Yeah, I asked her if I could borrow it. She works at the uh, Roswell. At the Roswell what? Up there. So yeah, I asked her if I could borrow it for a few minutes. And she said, yeah, just be safe. And okay, you understand that you cannot drive a golf cart down the road. The oh, roadway. I really didn't understand that. So do how I have to how old track? are you? I'm 13. You're 13? Is that wrong? Yeah, it's pretty bad. Like a car could slam into the back of you, not realizing oh, you're. Do you want me to like to drive? Well, hold on. What do you have ID on you or anything like that? Like what are you doing years. out here, at 13 years old? I'm just going to Starbucks. You're going to Starbucks? Yeah. Where does your mom work? She works up at Roswell. I'm just. At walking. Roswell, what? Like down there, Roswell. Where does she work? What's the name of the business? The apartments. The Roswell Apartments. She like is a manager over there. Okay. Yeah. This, this is where I got this from. So she's the manager over at the apartments. Yeah. It's almost 1 a.m. You're 13 years old, and you're out I here driving to... a golf cart on the middle of the roadway. You want me to take it back? I'm I'm trying to figure out what exactly you're doing. Do you really think Starbucks is open at 1 a.m.? Yeah. Uh, Taco Bell was open at 1 a.m. So you got this golf cart from what apartment complex? Roswell, down there. You have no idea what the name of the apartment complex is. It's called Roswell. It's called Roswell. Yeah. What's the road it's on? Roswell Road. All right, go ahead, step out for me. You want to take the car or you want to do the or something? Come over here to the sidewalk. I don't know, whatever you think. All right, go ahead, take your backpack off. I'm going to search you before I put you in my car, okay? okay. All right. Oh, don't turn around on me. All right, give me your arms. You're just being detained right now, okay? What is this in your... I don't know. My hurts so much. I'm sorry? Pull your hand out of your sleeve. All right. You don't have anything illegal on you? No. Again, you're not under arrest. I'm just detaining you, okay? Separate your feet. You're being detained. It means you're not free to leave. You in, okay? It's not going to be a super comfortable, okay? All right, so I don't think he's got dirt all over his knees like he's been crawling. He's in all black. Yeah, I don't think he has. He can't tell me his mom's address, his mom's phone number. Um, he's got a multi-tool in his back in his pocket. I don't, what are you talking about this thing, I don't know. What is this thing? It's a pair of scissors and a little ring. Okay. Oh, well, I can tell y'all figure out somebody to get it or empire. I don't know whatever you want to do with it, but. Um, at least that way it'll be, I can watch it until five. I mean, probably can't leave it there after that. Cause I'm not totally convinced that mom let him take this and mom owns no, this thing. I think he totally stole it. Yeah, I think he did too. Partially, but I don't know. Um, All right, hopefully. so now what? We take him up to see if he's telling the truth at mom's? <laughs> We're trying to figure out what's going on right now, okay? I'm going to seatbelt you in. I can't hear you. What now? I can't feel my wrist. You can't feel your wrist? Is it super tight? Have you been back here moving around? Let me see. Oh. Okay. So turn your back towards me for a minute, okay? There you go. I'm going to try and loosen them. Give me just a second. I didn't say you were going to jail. I said you were detained, okay? We're trying to figure out. That's not true. That is not true. These are pretty loose. I'm gonna I'm gonna lock them, okay? And I'm gonna get your seatbelt on and I'm I'm gonna take listen to me. I'm gonna take you up to Rosemont and see if we can find your mom, okay? I'm trying not to take you to jail. But I can't just let you go turn around and go home in the golf cart either, okay? So I need you to be honest with me and let me know. Help me find your mother for you, okay? And then we'll release you to your mother if everything checks out. 
here. Your mother's not here? Where is she? She's on a date. She's on a date? So you took the golf cart without her permission? Yes. Huh? Yes. Yes? <laughs> is it really her golf cart? It was the company's golf cart. But she will let me use it sometimes. Okay. So where were you really going? I was mm -hmm. driving around. You were just going to drive around? Do you, can you give me your mom's number so I can call her? She really doesn't have a number. Okay, is there is anybody that I can reach that's a legal guardian of you? Oh. Okay, so now he's saying that mom's on a date, mom's not home, mom left him home by himself. Uh, he took the golf cart. Mom still works at Rosemont, but he took the golf cart because she lets him use it sometimes. Okay. So, I'm going to try and call dispatch and see if they have a key holder and find out if it's actually her. And Well, I mean, we might have a key holder. Maybe we can go up there and see if she's home. I mean, he yeah. said he doesn't know the guy she's with. He, she just goes on these random yeah, dates. Yeah, but he's, and... he's just lying. He's not going to tell you the truth. He hasn't told you the truth since he met you. Yeah. So I don't know, but he's 13, and, from what I can and, tell. And I mean, he's 24. Yeah, I think there's some issues there. Yeah. I don't know. I just, but and now I'm stuck with it. Yeah. Guess who you can think? Hey, she was sitting right here. She would have seen it in a second. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I would have heard it. I, I haven't sure wondered if you were actually, I saw the map, but I didn't know if you were actually still here, if your GPS was like messed up. And oh, no, yeah, itself. I was sitting in the storage unit, yeah. parking lot. Yeah, well, the gate's messed up on that storage unit. All right, let me call this folks. Okay, now he's saying he's found the golf cart at the back of a school. No, it was back of the school. It was where? Next to a school. Next to a school. Should I read him Miranda? I mean, I haven't told him he was in custody. We just need to get him to his parents. But, and, and I guess just... Call a record for the golf cart. Well, where is the golf cart right now? Alright, you said you to get to the school, he says you go all the way up and it's a middle school? It's a you know what he's talking about? Yeah, right up Elkin, man. What's the school mm -hmm. called? Elkin Middle. Elkin Middle? Yeah, that one. Okay, what are you doing out at the school in the middle of the night? I wasn't where he came from. Where did he come from? I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm saying he, he... Oh, yeah, he was coming straight down nine. All right, where's your mom really? On her date. On her date? What's her phone number? What's her phone number? Okay, what's her phone number? All right, just understand this, that I can't just take you to your apartment and drop you off. Why not? It's, that's not how this works. I have to release you to a legal guardian. So you're with me until we figure this out. So what time is your mom supposed to be home from a date? Like three or four. Three or four in the morning? Yeah. So if I went to your apartment right now and knocked on the door, nobody would answer? Except it would be open. I'm sorry? Except it would probably be why would it probably be open? Because I locked my door or something I forget. I, I cannot take the handcuffs off of you, no. Because every 10 minutes you tell me a different story. And I don't know what's going on right now. Are you who you say you are? You have no identification on you. Are you really 13 years old? Yes. Okay. If you do the math. Well, I mean, you could be giving me any kind of birth date. Your mom's not answering her phone, but it's ringing. So either you gave me an incorrect number or her phone's on. Hey, I'm sorry to bother you. It's Dickerson. Um, you're the courtesy officer for Ro for Rosemont, correct? All right. So we have a what we believe to be a 13-year-old male driving down Alpharetta 9 with a in a golf cart just now. He's saying, yeah, he's saying his mother is the manager at Rosemont and that she's on a date and we can't get a hold of her. 
Um, okay, so her name is Christy. Awesome. Okay. Um, well, initially he said he took it from the Rosemont Complex because his mom let him borrow it, and now he's saying that he found it at the school, Elkin Middle. So it, you are missing a golf cart? Oh. Yeah. Okay. 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 Okay, and that, this is a shed by the 1300 building, you said? Um, he said to check the shed by the 1300 building, and if there's no golf cart in there, that's where the golf cart is, came from. Um, also, he's never heard of mom's name. So, now what? Just take, him to YDC. just take him to YDC? Uh, yep, that's, I mean, that's looking like our only choice, is to take you downtown to Atlanta. You, the Youth Detention, Juvenile Detention Center? Because if I can't reach Mom, I've got nowhere else to take you. I can't just drop you back off at the apartment. Yes? I need you to be honest with me about where the golf cart came from. Have you ever been stopped by the police? Okay, for what? Jumping on a roof. Your mom was born in 2000 something? Okay. I've had enough. I've lost my patience. So his mom was born in 2000 something? You're 2000 something. Okay, so she's 17 at the most. 18. At the most. 18. And he is 13. I don't think it's possible. I don't think so either. I don't think any of this is possible. Oh, he's he seatbelted in. Hey man. Here's what I'm going to come back and ask you for. Oh. Your mother's name, your mother's phone number, and the address where you live. You understand that? Think on it. Oh, uh, sorry. Yeah. Hang on. Hang on. Just so it takes a little. Do you think for a few minutes? So where you live, and I'll be back with you in a minute. Officer Dixon, you can come cop in my passenger seat for a few minutes. Okay. Yeah, he ain't gonna say anything if it's warm. If what? He said he ain't gonna say anything if he's up there in the back seat and it's warm. Oh. So he can sit over there and be cold. <sighs> well, okay. That's why I rolled your windows down. Oh. And a few minutes to think about it. Should I call an 85 for the golf cart? Yeah. Okay. Let him get a little chill. Maybe that'll work. No, he's gone from this is very easy. A freaking golf cart. Yeah, and then he said his mom let him borrow it, and then he said he got it from the school. And I called Eric, Eric Smith, and he's saying that it's probably missing from the shed over there at Rosemont. Really? Yeah, it's most likely either from Rosemont, which from a bean. So, it's either from Rosemont or, or a greenhouse. I mean, I have no problem with charging him and taking him or going to juvenile court. If that's what needs to happen. Yeah. I, I have no issue with that whatsoever. We've got to figure out who he is. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's the thing. I don't I don't totally trust that he's thirteen years old and that he's I mean, he hasn't given us he's given us ten different stories since the moment we met him. Yeah.
Yeah, your car's gonna be cold. Shit. That's okay. If I can just get rid of him and do something with him. <laughs> he's not cold. Oh, I'm sure he's not. Like, he's got that big ass sweatshirt. Well, and he's in all black. Underneath it. He's in all black and he has dirt all over his knees. Like, he's been crawling around on his knees. He said he stopped. He got stopped by the police one time for jumping, doing cartwheels on a roof. That's what he just told me. That sounds familiar, really. And he said his mom was initially born in the year 2000, sometime. Now he's saying that she's born in 1896. Mm. <laughs> like I just want to rip my hair out. <laughs> I've got him in handcuffs right now, but I told him he was just detained. He was not under arrest. But he keeps complaining about the handcuffs, which I don't really care. No, I didn't. Oh, gosh. All right. Give me a second. I'll go take a run at him. I'm going to hang out here. All right. All right, partner. What's your name? I'm sorry. Getting cold yet, Anthony? Take it cool. So can I. Because I've got heat in this car. So here's where we're at. Elsie with the Roswell Police Department. Look at me when I'm speaking to you. My name is Sergeant Elsie with the Roswell Police Department. Okay? You can't be driving a golf cart in the streets. You understand that, right? I'm pretty sure that's not your golf cart. Is that fair to assume? Where did you get the golf cart from? What school? A science school. Where is this science school? Yeah, I can see your breath. It's pretty cold back there. Keep telling me. Speaking of, what's mom's name? You don't know mom's phone number. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna I'm gonna drive to this address you gave me. You live in Alpha. This address, you gotta hang tight right here, since you can't remember Mom's phone number. And if I can make contact with Mom, then we'll get some heat going. All right, you hang tight. Alpha two, we're good for. He's freezing him out. He's about to drive to the address that he gave. You know, Mom will turn the heat on in the car. I really have to pee. It's cold out there. It's chilly, Four, chilly. Three, two, no, 18 for a wrong way driver. Aw, oh, man. Is it cold in the car, you're asking? Yeah, it's freezing in there. Well, he's got all the windows rolled down and the heat off. Yeah. It's like on the border. Alright, so what's the verdict? They're going to town. Oh, okay. I checked on his cuffs once. They seem Pop out. loose okay. enough. Pop out. I understand that, but I gotta check on the other one. This one. The right one? Yeah. Ah. I'm gonna loosen it a tiny bit. It's not tight, too tight. Understand that, right? But I'm gonna loosen it just a smidgen. Huh? See over here? Are they having some super secret? I want to pull him out and pat him down one more time before I transfer it for you. Come on out. Come on. Watch your head. You break your feet. I'm going to fix the handcuffs and they're going to stay in the back this time. That's because I'm not going to leave them loose for you to, to wiggle to the front again. You understand? You understand? Put that hand on the hood or on the car. Leave it there. Bring that car, that hand behind you. You want me to pat him down? You want to pat him down? Oh, I can do it. I already did it once, but I don't like how he's moving around a lot. Yep. What do you have on you that you're not supposed to have? Actually, nothing. Actually, nothing? Mm, We're actually going to get to the bottom of it. Mm -hmm. 
see these are all kinds of loose because you're able to free spin your hands inside the handcuffs. Officer Dickerson and I are going to run you home, okay? Where, where are we going? Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> maybe I ought to be in front. <laughs> one Alpha 2, I'll be following Sierra 3, uh, one male, beginning mileage. One two eight one seven seven one two eight one seven seven. Walk over towards your apartment. Don't even worry about it. Please don't. Come on in there. Hey, I'm just going to grab his backpack real quick. I'll be right back.